How to use Dropbit for Beginners Hello, welcome to our channel WebWiz and in this tutorial I will show you how to use Dropbit for Beginners so make sure that you watch till the end of the video to properly understand the tutorial so before that if you guys are wondering you can check out rightly this Dropbit website using the link in the description below and that's it and without further ado let's get started so first what is Dropbit? So Dropbit is a application or a website that enables user to create their own mobile application. So take note this is only for mobile applications only. This can't be applied to desktop applications since they require you know programming and this one's not so after that if you go to this link right here it will show you this page where you can start your free account using Dropbit so in order to do that just click get started for free and you will need to provide your gmail account to you know register for an account so after that just input your gmail account and click get started then after that you will need to provide your names and last name and also your password so i'm just going to put my name right here and my last name also i will put a random password so after that just click continue and this one will show so you need to check your inbox in your gmail account for confirmation email containing a unique link so just go to your gmail enter gmail and click your inbox if it doesn't appear just refresh your inbox and yeah it will appear rightly and after that just click verify email and it will redirect you right this so you will need to provide each of this required information to further proceed so as you can see you will need to tell us about little yourself so we can share your resources so how do you plan to use the app rapid so i'm building a new app for my customers are you technical you can just choose it and how do you hear about draft bit then you can choose any of this i'm going to choose search engine and click continue and after that you will need to provide about your organization so if you're working with an organization and you want to make an app from it you can use your organization names or for example i'm just me so i don't have an organization and what is my role i'm going to choose marketing and how large is your organization so i'm going to put a random infos right here but you can choose your own so after that after you click continue it will show you this different plan of your account with different features so you can choose any of this but as you can see if you created your account you will only be using the basic plan but if you want to upgrade to individual to teams and enterprise you can just check them out and it will provide you you know another functionality of the draft bit and you know for making a proper application so if you want you can choose start 14 day trial and after that you will need to pay 79 dollars per month for the individual tier so if this deal are not you know okay to you you can use annual billing and it will save you 20 percent from the original price so as you can see the individual will now only be $60 per month and the team will only be $200 per month and that's it and also you can still use 14 day trial with this plan and for now I'm going to use the basic plans because I'm only showing the tutorial and after you choose your plan this page will show up where it shows you a five minutes introduction to drop bit and you can watch it if you want and it shows you the basic functionality of the draft bit how can you use or how can you make a application on draft bit and you can watch it but i'm only skipping this one because i'm going to show you how to use draft bit later so please so i'm going to skip this and also this i'm going to skip this also you don't need this one right now and after that you will go to your dashboard so the dashboard will show all the resources and all the tutorials as well and as well as the new components or new um, news about the draft bit and you can check this infos if you want and it helps you to know more about the draft bit and after that if you click workspace right here down the dashboard and this will serve as your personal workspace where you can see all of your works that you've done and all project that you know you made from the past so if you click starter apps this will be the templates of application mobile application that you can use and you can edit you know to properly make your application and make more stylish because it's already has style and after that 
it's the same application to example screen you can choose every example screen available right here that you can use and it really helps to make your proper application and in this expert service you don't need this one right now but it provides private trainings and private support from the drop bit that's why it is expensive and if you go to the account this where you can change the basic info your account your name your password and your id and also you can upgrade your account right here and if you want to have a improved plan you can choose this and so now let's go to workspace so we will now create our first application mobile application so click create project and after that you will need to provide what the title of your project so i'm going to copy the text right here by piper and you will also this is optional but you can provide a project description so i'm going to type it allows users or people to collect money so it's all about money my application is all about money and after you're done just click next and you will now tell us about your project so what backend are you using for this app so if you don't know backend you can choose i'm not sure i haven't created my backend but if you know your backend you can choose any of this so now i'm going to choose i'm not sure i don't know what backend is and after that you will need to provide what kind of app are you making so if it's either an object app or business app crypto app dashboard app so for me it's all about money so i'm going to choose finance or either finance or crypto so i'm going to choose finance and how do you plan to deploy this app so if you want to deploy this application to app stores or web so or google app stores you can choose whatever it suits you so i'm going to choose google app store after that just click next and they will ask you how do you want to start so if you want to start with a starter app templates as you can see this is all the templates that you can choose on the starter apps and if you want to start from blank you can choose blank then after that i'm going to choose blank first and you will need to also provide the icon of your application so you can choose emojis for the pictures and you can you know change the background of the icon so i'm going to choose this <laughs> um emoji it's money so after that just click i'm ready and also click i'm ready with this and as you can see that your app is being created and it will just wait until it's finished and you can click let's go after it's finished and it will redirect you to the editor page where you can edit your project and as you can see this is the editing page as you can see the drop bit also gives you guide or tutorial on on the description of the user interface so what you can see in the screen so as you can see this is the screen tab this is the components tab where you can input your elements your text image videos and your application and also this is the properties tab where you can edit your components and that's it that's all you can do and you can check this by yourself and it's pretty easy to handle i bet as you can see if you're having a hard time starting your project we don't know where to start where what page you want to add or what components you want to add in your pages you can just go to your dashboard again and go to starter apps and choose a template and it just helps you how to start with your project so you can choose any of these templates that you want that suits your you know title so i'm going to choose this one since i'm going with finance so i'm going to change this name from nft to pipe piper and I'm going to copy this app and after copying just go back to your workspace and edit your you know copied template and it will redirect you to the editor page again then as you can see you already have pages and components each pages so you have an idea now what pages or components that you need to have a proper application so you can also choose or use this templates if you want it's not an issue because you can still edit this template so in order to edit this template as you can see when you click the pages you will show you different components and as you can see the components are all highlighted each page so for example i'm going to edit this one the what do you call this the header title right here the dv nft so after i click that the properties lane in the right side will show up where you can edit this type of component so as you can see you can change the font style you can change the you know style of the text the layout the alignment 
or the flex or even the text size and color so as you can see i'm going to change the font style of the text so as you can see it's start changing and you, will, you can also change the color i'm going to change it from black to red and also i can put the text underline so as you can see it starts adding the underline of the text so also you can change the component name what the component is so this one is the logo so you can change what is that also you can change the input text so i'm going to change the input text to dvnft to my title pied piper and just wait until it's finished updating so you know as you can see right here the logo text has now changed to pied piper and that's it and you can also do this to the rest of the components and after you're done editing your pages and components in order to publish it just click set project library right here in the top right corner but as you can see that you will need to upgrade your plan and since you're using a basic plan and according to the basic plan features it does not have a published feature so you you'll need to choose a different plan a higher so if you want you just click choose a plan and it will redirect you to the account right here the platform plans and you will need to upgrade to at least individual plan since the individual plan already has a publishing feature and that's it that's how you make your mobile app using graphvit and i hope you learned something from this tutorial please like and subscribe to our channel and see you in the next one thank you